Hey guys, D Su here, back at it with the 400 subscriber special. Gonna be responding to all the death battle fanboys out there. And here's the funny thing when I was reading the comments, nobody even addressed the points I was making. You're always, you're all just trying to say that, oh, you're just butthurt and all that stuff. You completely missed the point of the video. Drop the video. I just want Death Battle to be honest. I just want Death Battle to stop nerfing characters and be honest. I even said that I don't care about the outcome. I don't care about rather Goku or Superman win. I just want honesty. I just want fair representation. That was my point of this whole video. And look at these guys. They just flat, flat out ignore them. Did you just say that they didn't mention Goku vs Superman is a question of ideals in episode 2? That's Okay, first of all, I didn't say that. And second, that's a freaking stupid point. <laughs> I don't care about ideals. Ideal. I don't. Out. Ideal. What, what type of points are that? Oh, Goku vs. Superman is a, question, is a question of ideals. No, it's not. It's literally just a fun who would win in a fight to me. Trying to make this question of ideals. That's just freaking retarded. That's just straight up retarded, bro. Ideals? Just a... Oh, oh, sorry, Goku man doesn't lie. Here's the thing. Here's a point that I mentioned that none of you responded. In the first Goku vs. Superman video, they neglected that Goku traveled from heaven to hell with Icon, which is a universe-sized distance. That's immeasurable speed. But they only mention it in the third Goku vs. Superman video. Why didn't they mention it in the first one? Why didn't they mention it in the first one? That feat is older than Death Battle has been around. But they only mentioned it in the third one. Broly, if we were honest. Here's the thing. I never even mentioned... I never even mentioned Hulk and Broly in this video. I never mentioned it. Cope Harder. See, these guys... These fanboys... They didn't listen to anything I said. My point is that... Goku is, my point is that... Death Battle just needs to be more honest instead of trying to strike controversy by nerfing characters. But, of course, these guys don't listen because they're biased. These fanboys, I hate the fanboys more than I hated Death Battle. Every ounce of hate that I had for Death Battle, I hate the fanboys more. Because fanboys are, are just ignorant. Even though he can. Pretty equal. Didn't your... Did your, your show that didn't your show death back that means I don't say they were equal in Didn't your show say they were equal in speed? First one, edit better. It's just after the third Coke question, man. I don't, it was predictable and clickbait at this point. Yeah, these people aren't even listening. See, first of all, I ne I never had a problem with the outcome. I knew Goku was gonna lose the outcome. I knew that going in. I just wanted a fair representation of the characters. This Goku vs. Superman video, it should have just been like, bro, you can keep the outcome, just make it fair. Why did they have to nerf Goku so bad? In fact, it's not just Goku vs. Superman. In Majin Buu vs. Kirby, they nerfed Majin Buu so bad. Because, oh, Majin Buu can't move faster than light. Are you serious? Are you serious? He traveled around the freaking galaxy, wiping out entire planets and stuff. You're telling me that's not faster than light? That's not faster than light. You literally 
was wiping out galaxies in years. We see Dragon Ball characters dodging light speed attacks. Are you serious? <coughs> see, here's the thing. I was talking about representation of characters. In Captain Marvel versus Android 18, they downplayed Android 18 saying, oh, he's strong enough to, to break a man's arm with a kick. Oh, that same man Vegeta trained at 500 times gravity. Like, um, we've seen Vegeta get smashed through giant mountains. You've seen Vegeta uh, blast energy beams that can destroy planets. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're low-balling Vegeta's arm durability. Are you saying, oh, they could possibly destroy planets? No, they definitely can destroy planets. Definitely. And it's not just Dragon Ball. It's, it's a lot of the characters. Like, everybody just wanted fairness. Death Battle just wants to strive controversy so they can make money off their videos. Dirty. It's like, these guys, they're not listening. I'm talking about fair representation. I wasn't even mad that Goku lost. If you watch the video, but of course, they don't care about that. Because Death Battle fanboys, you just, you're just reacting. You react via emotion. You don't bother listening to the video. In fact, I looked at the analytics. I looked at the analytics. Most of y'all didn't even watch all the way through. See? Y'all didn't even watch all the way through. You just wanted to react. You just wanted, you saw that. Just be fucking honest. And you got mad just from the very concept of it. You didn't even bother listening. You didn't even bother listening. See, I'm just exposing these fanboys. This is supposed to be a reaction, but nah, it's just exposing the fanboys, how they don't listen. Hope you enjoyed a 400 subscriber video. Like, subscribe. Can't wait till we get to 500. See you guys later.